Hello everyone. In this uh, short video, I want to talk about position tolerance, how to calculate the position tolerance for floating and fixed fastener uh, scenarios. So we call a floating fastener uh, scenario when you connect two objects together, you fasten them together with a bolt and clearance holes. So here you clearly see that there is a gap right here between the uh, hole in the objects in these two blocks and what and this bolt. So we call it a, a floating fastener. And in this case, if I want to talk about the um, position tolerance for these holes, how do I determine the amount of position tolerance? Well, here we have a formula which says the tolerance for object 1 is the same as tolerance for object 2, and that is H minus F, where H here is basically the MMC of the hole, and F is the size of the fastener, okay? So if I want to add them here, this is the uh, hole MMC, and this F is basically the uh, thread size of the fastener, right? So in this case, let's say that we are using M10 bolts, right? So these guys are M10. And the diameter for these holes, this diameter here, right? This guy is a phi. And uh, the phi is like 10.2 to 10.4. Right, so between 10.2 and 10.4, this is the limit you have, and clearly both of them are bigger than the uh, size of the shaft, so it's a clearance hole. And you want to what? You want to know how much position tolerance you are going to apply for both of these holes. Now, let's say it's for both of them, so we use a two times, okay? And so, if I want to put a position tolerance for these, so here we go, we say position tolerance, and it's a phi, it's a region, how much, we'll find out, and then with respect to some datums, right, let's say A, B, and C, that we can have for this uh, case, but here uh, the goal is not to put A, B, C on, the goal is to find how much of tolerance to put for each one of them, and in this case they are equal, and the value is MMC of the hole, which in this case, that's 10.2. And then minus what? Minus the size of the um, thread, which is M10. Okay, so it is going to be 0.2. So both of these parts, the top one and the bottom one, they both will get what? They both will get 0.2. Okay. So if you have it on both of these objects, both of them will get a point to tolerance zone for the position. The floating fastener scenario, the other one we have is called fixed fastener. And this is when you have this like bottom part here with no uh, clearance hole and it's threaded. So there is no gap between the fastener and the part, or it could be a tight fit hole with a dowel pin. Okay, in this case, we call it fixed fastener scenario. And what you do is, uh, uh, one, there is this formula that says uh, here, basically, T1 and T2 for the top part and the bottom part, or the unthreaded and the threaded, they are equal, and they are both equal to what? Equal to half of the difference between H and F. So you get 50% of this total tolerance, H minus F, to T1, you give half of it to T2. Uh, but there is this modified formula which says, no, don't give the same to both of them. Why? Because threaded holes are much harder to machine and manufacture. So give a little bit more tolerance to the harder one, which is the threaded. So give like 75% of this H minus F to T2, the bottom part, and get 25% of that to T1, to T1 which is the uh, part with a simple clearance hole, okay? And uh, 
there are some uh, videos or some books I have seen that uh, mention the 40-60 uh, rule. So use 40% and 60%, or some people say one third and two third. And I've also seen 25% uh, and 75%. And I think this one is uh, like really conservative. And I prefer to go with this 25%, 75%, although those other ones are not really, um, it's not like those are not correct, no. So if you hear other percentage distribution between T1 and T2, it is fine. So in this case, if again, we have the same scenario that uh, this guy is M10, and uh, this hole here is basically phi between 10.2 and 10.4. In this case, if I have positional tolerance for each one of these, right, for each one of these uh, holes, and actually this has to refer to the hole, not to the part. So in this case, if I have one for this one, then what you need to pass to it is basically 25% of the difference. Remember this guy was 10.2, this guy was 10, right? So H minus F total is 0.2. So if you give 25% of it to T1, that's 0.05, and this other one is uh, 0.15. So the bottom part is gonna get uh, 0.15, the top part is gonna get what? 0.05 so if we do that this is like this right and then a and b and c and this one is what this one is 0.05 and then a and uh, b and c okay so i just want you to know how to calculate the positional tolerance for the holes in the parts if they have clearance holes or if they have these fixed fastener scenarios. So hopefully this video was useful to you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.